Okay, so here's what we have. We have an FPI 6700. Um, this system is going to be set up to run a barcoded document for variable page sets. So what is variable page sets? That is when you have a stack of paper, could be invoices, statements, or anything, but the recipients get a different number of sheets. So for example, this first recipient's going to get four sheets, so they're maybe getting a four-page statement. And so we're going to look at this little barcode, and this is one of four, and then it'll be two of four, and then the next page will be three of four, and the final page will be four of four. And this makes a four-page set. The next set may be three pages, the next one one page, the next one may be five or ten pages. We don't know, but they're all different. And so at its very basic form, we can process these documents by using document intelligence, the barcode. We will load these sheets into a tray, which I'm going to attempt to do left-handed, left-handedly. There we go. I'm a right-handed person, so it's a little difficult for me. There we go. We've loaded them in a tray. Um, over here are empty envelopes. It's our empty envelope popper, and up here is where the filled envelopes will show up. Now remember, every page will have a different number of pages. So let's watch this. One, two, three, four. Let's go. One, two. So as you can see, there's a different number of pages for each set. Could be a one page, could be a two page, could be whatever. Alright, down here is where they get inserted into the envelope. stop the machine and then I'm going to open one envelope and show you what the result is if I can do this with a one-handed here we go all right so this let me zoom in a little for you is hey look at that it's a one of four one of four two of four three of four the final one will be uh, four of four. All right, so in this case, we, we actually have this nice card deck. So we got, uh, there's always a good hand. Hey, two pair, fives and eights. Sweet. Now we can go to the next one. Let me try to find a thinner one here. All right, here's a thinner one. This one here is... Oh, there we go. Uh, zoom in a little. One of two. And two of two. And I'll do one more for you. Here's a thicker one. This one is one of three. I'm pretty sure you get the idea. Well, there's the last page. See if I can get the second page to show. There it is. Two of three and three of three. And look, we got three nines. So that's basically how variable page processing works. Now this is the barcodes that is very basic right now. Um, it adds a lot of security um, because each set has to start with the number one of something and then it has to sequence count up. It has to go one, two, three, four, five, right? It can't go one, two, four, five, or the machine will know some page is missing and it will divert the set 
The diverted set will end up in this area on this machine, but they all have a divert area. Um, the uh, second set of digits, for example, in this one, it's four, like page one of four. Those all have to match. So it has to be one of four, two of four, three of four, and four of four. That also adds a matching security to it. So if you have a one of four, two of four, three of three, four of four, the system also knows that something is mixed up and it will divert those sets too. So you have some built-in security just at its basic, but we can go super high security uh, to meet HIPAA regulations, other government regulations, and um, really secure it. We could know if one page is missing um, from anywhere in the print run of 10,000 or more pieces. We can find out all that information, and um, there you go. Uh, that pretty much allows you to be 100% confident that your mailing is going to be 100% correct. At any rate, if you have any questions, talk to your local sales rep. Take care. Bye.